right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday. And uh, these two wines aren't from the same supplier, but they're both from the same varietal. And I figured, you know, since these guys each brought me one wine, I figured to put them together because, you know, you make a video just on one wine. Oh, both of these are very good. We could, on either of these, Papa Pietro Perry, a very well-known Pinot Noir producer. He does a lot of different single vineyards. They make 10 different Pinot Noirs and the Russian River Valley. Most of them are from there. And um, a mix of several different visit vineyard designates go into this wine, which is made from all purchased fruit. These guys have been doing this for 16 years. Wow. Hey, same amount of time we've been in the business here at the Wine Watch. 1998. And around 10,000 cases produced annually. He's got a nice little business going and uh, this wine, a really good $50 Pinot Noir. Beautiful strawberry, raspberry fruit, little rhubarb pie notes, some cola, typical of what you get out of Russian River Pinots. Smooth and silky on the palate, with a nice zesty red berry fruit, pretty floral highlights, that exotic spice. One of the things we love about Pinot, that floral notes, those spicy notes. And uh, this wine, a really nice long finish. And uh, we love that silky, velvety smooth texture of Pinot Noir. And even though it's light, not light and nuance, this wine for $54, excellent juice. All right, then the Grand Moraine Pinot Noir from Yam Hill Carlton. And this is a new label, and um, people behind it are not new in the wine business. The Jackson family, Barbara Banky came up here and uh, really got serious about investing in the Willamette. They own, they're the largest landowners in the Willamette now. And uh, there's two different types of soils here. You got the sedimentary uh, from Dundee, which is where this wine comes from. Blacker fruits, more rustic. And then the volcanic basalt soils, more red fruits in that. And, uh, you know, kind of interesting to have someone so knowledgeable about the terroir the winemaker was in to show us this wine. The very first vintage. So kind of interesting to be in the ground floor also. Hey, we already sold a case. Chardonnay Ray was here. Love the wine. Said, sign me up, man. I'm on board. I love Pinot from Oregon. And this is really classic. Yam Hill Carlton stuff. This wine's got a very distinct earthy aroma, the red berry fruit, brown spice, some truffly notes, so really exotic, really. This 2012 vintage is outstanding. A good amount of that rich berry fruit on the tongue, that dark cherry fruit, raspberry, nice zest, uh, exotic spices here. This wine's very forward and seductive, lots of juicy fruit, but nice structure, a firm hand of acidity here. This wine really opens up on the second day. That is the sign of a truly great wine. How is it after it's been open a day? This this wine definitely better excellent juice and uh, great price too 43.50 for a great bottle of Pinot Noir from Oregon um, great juice both of these Pinot Noirs that's what we had to drink with our friends from Papa Pietro Perry and Grand Moraine I'm your host Andrew Lampasoni signing off for the wine watch saying remember always drink the good stuff first